Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are starting out with the skin and I'm using the Bare Minerals Primetime Primer just as a base for my foundation. And foundation I'm using is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea mixed with a little too much of the Australis Lightning Drops. I just accidentally like got my ratio wrong so I looked very pale but I did warm my skin up. But I do love this foundation and these Lightning Drops are amazing if you have foundations that are too dark for you. Here I am warming up the skin and contouring with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. It's in the shade Deep and it's very very deep and warm obviously but it did help a lot with warming up my skin so I just applied it to all of those areas and I am blending everything out using this Real Techniques Diamond Marble Sponge. I don't actually know the name for it but that's what it looks like so yeah just blending it all in. Moving on to the eyes, I am priming my eyelids using the Sigma Persuade Eye Base and I'm just using a P88 brush which is like a little flat angle kabuki just to blend this over my eyelids. Then on a Sigma E60 brush, I'm just buffing a little bit of RCMA No Color Powder just to basically set the eyelid down in place. Then I'm going into the 35F palette from Morphe and I'm first taking this transition shade and just using an E40 brush just to messily buff this through the crease and a little bit above the crease. Then I'm going in with some sticky tape. I'm just like unsticking it a little bit on the back of my hand and then sticking it to the corners of my eyes going up to the tail of my brow. Then I'm going in with a slightly deeper transition color. This one's like a warm toned brownie kind of shade. It's very, very beautiful as are all of the colors in this palette. And I'm just doing the same thing and I'm just working my brown colors up in the crease. So here I'm taking an E25 brush, which is like a more precise brush. So you guys know this is like one of my favorite blending brushes ever. And I'm just working it up in the outer corner and then bringing it in through the crease. Then I'm taking the black from the palette on the same E25 brush and I'm pretty much just building that shade up in the very outer corner. As you can see, I'm bringing it right to the edge where the tape is and then I'm just dragging the excess product sort of through the outer V and into the crease slightly. This next step is not totally necessary, but if you have hooded eyes like I do, then it is handy to be able to see more of the shimmery product. So I'm basically carving out my crease and bringing it up above where my actual crease is. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape as per usual. So as you can see, I'm just using this little brush to apply it, then my finger to tap it out and yeah then I'm going back in with the black and an E30 brush and I'm just very lightly diffusing the edge of the concealer and the eyeshadows so that they meet nice and softly then on an E62 cut crease brush I'm taking this brown shade and I'm basically just outlining where I've just cut the crease um, just to sort of make it a little bit more defined then I'm just going back in with that super warm toned savory brown shade on an E25 brush and I'm just building that color up because it did get blended away with all of the blending. Then for the fun part I'm taking this beautiful pinky plummy shade and I'm basically applying this to the entire lid but up until where I actually created a new crease. So. I just wanted the color to really stand out on my eyelids and I find sometimes with my eyelids being hooded you don't always see as much of the color as I would like. 
Then I'm taking the beautiful golden bronze shade just next to the pink and I'm using my finger to tap this into the center of the lid just to give it a pop of gold. Then I'm taking this tiny, tiny little blender brush and I'm just blending those edges out. And then I'm just going back into the palette and taking some more of the black on the same little blending brush and I'm just applying some more of that to the outer corner where it got blended away and then bringing the remainder of the product through the crease which is very very easily done with a cut crease look when you have this little blender brush. Now my camera actually cut out me doing my eyeliner but I just literally used a black liquid liner and created a thick wing along the upper lash line and then I went in with some mascara and here I'm going in with the Klepke Istanbul lashes. Then I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer again to conceal and highlight. I have the shade Fair Neutral which is perfect for when I am pale which I was clearly very pale in this video. So I'm just blending all of that out using this Sigma. It's actually a contour brush but it works amazingly for cream products and like highlighter so I've been using it for that. So I'm just buffing all of that into my skin. Then to set the concealer down in place, I'm just taking some RCMA No Color Powder, which is incredible for setting my makeup in place. I love it. And I'm basically just setting all of the areas where I applied my concealer, just to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. To contour, I'm taking this powder contour shade from a NARS palette I've got. This is the Stephen Klein palette. It is limited edition and I got it quite a while ago now so it is old but the contour shade is just called Paloma so I'm not sure if you can buy it separately. If not just get NARS Laguna because that is what I'm about to use to bronze up the skin. I just like using this contour shade as like an initial contour. So here you see I'm going into the Laguna shade which is an incredible bronzer and I'm just using an F23 brush which is a large soft contour brush kind of thing and just bronzing up the skin. Then for blush I'm taking this blush from Sigma. I am very bad at pronouncing the name of it. It's Nymphia or something like that but it's a beautiful pinky shade and I'm just applying it to my cheeks. Then I'm taking the shade Kitty Cat from the Nicole Guerrero and Anastasia palette and on my FO3 brush from Sigma which is my favorite highlighter brush I'm just applying it to all of the high points and the center of my face where the sun would hit and make me glow. Then just to set everything down I'm using some Fix Plus just to make sure my powders are nice and set into the skin. Then for the lower lash line, I'm first mixing the sable brown with the caramelly kind of brown next to it. I don't know how to explain these browns, guys, but I'm just buffing this with my E25 underneath the lower lash line. Then I'm going in with the pink shade on a flat shader brush, and I'm just starting to apply this underneath the lash line again, trying to mimic what I'm doing on the top lid. And then on an E46 little inner corner brush, I'm using the gold shade and I'm pretty much doing the same thing. I'm just plonking that in the middle of the lower lash line. And then I'm taking the gorgeous highlighter shade from the palette, which is incredible. And I'm just highlighting the inner corners and my brow bone. And then applying some black on an E68 brush. It's like a little angled brush and I'm just applying this really close to my lower lash line just to add some smokiness. Here I just went in with the duo fiber brush just because I felt like I had a bit of a bronzer helmet going on, which I still kind of do, but that's okay. Um, and then I'm just applying some black liner to my waterline and some lower lash mascara, and that completed the eye look. And then for the lips, I'm using the Essence Lip Liner in Satin Mauve, I believe. It's a beautiful movie shade and I'm just outlining and then filling in a little bit of my lips and then I'm going to go over the top using Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the shade Stone which is like a classic and I love it. 
and that completes the entire look I really really hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more and I will see you guys soon bye